TikToker Madeline has decided to reveal the truth about her tumultuous relationship with Central C and the involvement of Ice Spice in their drama. Initially, fans speculated that this was merely a publicity stunt. However, Madeline has clarified that this is not the case and that she has been genuinely hurt by the situation. She now wants to expose Central C and share all the details with everyone. There's quite a lot to unpack here, so let's break it down step by step. Many people are sharing their stories in series these days. A lot of folks are exposing others or venting their frustrations on TikTok. It's become a big trend. You might have heard of Madeline Argy. She's a popular TikToker who recently went viral again. A few days ago, she posted several TikToks revealing details about her ex, rapper Central C. Madeline and her partner have had a rocky relationship since 2022 and people have often mocked her for reconciling with him. However, in recent TikTok videos, she has started speaking out about their situation. They used to be a beloved couple online, and many fans still hope they'll reunite. Despite this, last September it was revealed that they had officially broken up. At a recent Drake concert, a buzz was created when Central C was spotted, and Zach Bia made a public announcement to the crowd, revealing that Central C is single. Later on the Call Her Daddy podcast, Madeline confirmed this news. Madeline, who has just gone through a breakup, shared that the news only became public this week. To provide some background for the Daddy Gang listeners, she explained that she had been dating a well-known UK rapper. Their relationship had gained significant attention online. When asked to confirm the breakup, Madeline affirmed that they have indeed parted ways. She revealed that they have been broken up for a few months now. People have always been curious about the relationship between them. There have been hints here and there that suggested they might still be seeing each other. Especially towards the end of last year, there were rumors that they had possibly reunited. In May this year, TikToker Leah Halton shared a TikTok video, and fans noticed she was in Central C's car. He even reposted the video, and Leah liked a comment that pointed out she was in his car. This left fans puzzled and led to more rumors, with many believing they might be dating or involved in some way. Clearly, she was in his car, and this sparked a lot of speculation. In late June, Madeline was seen again with Central C. Photos of them together in Nigeria circulated, fueling speculation about their reunion since they were clearly traveling together. However, in early July, Central C began to stir up dating rumors with a new person, I Spice. In an unexpected twist, the two were seen shopping together in London, with videos circulating online showing them in chrome hearts. Later, I Spice shared a video on Instagram, and Central C commented with the word, Trouble. Madeline then posted a screenshot of this interaction on her own Instagram story. This led many to believe that she was openly questioning Central C's comment by sharing it on her story. A week later, I Spice and Central C revealed that they had collaborated on a song about cheating, along with a music video. The public quickly realized that their recent interactions were just for publicity. People then understood that they were simply working together on a project. People thought it was so clever that they believed Madeline was involved, posting a screenshot of his comment on I Spice's Instagram to stir up drama and attract attention to the song before its release. However, Madeline has come forward this week to clarify that she was not part of any PR stunt. She expressed that her feelings have genuinely been hurt, and she has been anxiously watching everything unfold, unsure if she still has a boyfriend. In reality, it was all just PR. I hope everyone enjoyed the video that was released at midnight. I know I did. I loved going to the club and visiting the set. And yes, I got to see the video before anyone else here did. Obviously, no one saw it before me. You asked me to stand up, so here I am. Let me tell you, I had no idea this was going to happen. She mentioned that when he first showed her the song, the lyrics already had some red flags. A few months ago, I was in bed with Pookie when he told me he had a new song to share. Excited, I thought he was going to serenade me with some beautiful lyrics. But then he played his verse, and I was shocked. Did he just confess to cheating? He even explained how he did it. I demanded to see his phone and questioned him about. 
CK Trappy69 with the wet emoji, who he claimed was just a childhood friend. He insisted it was all just for marketing and said I didn't understand how the internet works. So, I decided to let it go. She then brought up the entire Leah Halton situation. She explained that he had approached her, saying he planned to hire an influencer to make a lip-syncing video of one of his old songs. He mentioned that he would be sending her a car because she requested one, but he didn't disclose that he was sending his personal car and that this could spark dating rumors. He didn't tell me he was sending her his personal car to start a dating rumor with her. I was with you guys, deeply involved in the comment section, wondering if we were still together. When I tried to talk to him about it, he kept brushing it off, saying, All right, no, I'm kidding. But seriously, I actually tried to understand what was happening, and he gave me no clear answers. I've started to realize why girls avoid dating rappers. She explained that all this drama was unfolding just days before their trip to Nigeria. Her team called, asking what was going on. She knew it would look bad to be seen with him publicly, especially after rumors about him and another girl. So, she said she would only go on the trip if no photos of them were posted. But, of course, that didn't happen, and the photos were posted anyway. She told him, I'll still come to Nigeria but only if no professional pictures of us are posted. I've just realized what's going on, and I don't want to be seen with this guy. I understand he has promotional activities, but I don't want to lose the last shred of my dignity. As expected, the pictures got out. I regret not putting on some concealer before getting photographed. Now, these unflattering pictures of me are circulating, and my friends are making fun of me while my workplace is reprimanding me. Madeline mentioned that she was advised not to be seen with him, but they ended up getting photographed together anyway. She later realized that their encounter in Nigeria was no coincidence. It was part of a larger scheme. She recalled him telling her the release date for his song with Ice Spice, which was just a month away. Wanting to avoid the inevitable drama that would come with the song's release, she wished to distance herself from the situation entirely. She wanted to end things with him, but he wasn't making it easy. I also remembered that he mentioned a release date for his song, which is only a little over a month away. I realized that the incident in Lagos wasn't just a coincidence and that I'm now deeply involved in his scheme. I don't want to be seen with him until after the song is released because I want to avoid any association with it. People are already laughing at me and I can't handle any more public humiliation. I asked him for a talk to break up and he said he's available on July 1st for that conversation. It struck me as odd since it was mid-June, but he was having his first ever headline shows. On July 1st, he insisted on seeing me. He was so determined that he had to see me that very day, but I was busy with a friend. Later at 11 p.m., he called and said he needed to see me that night. I asked why he was so desperate. He replied, you need to remember that I'm a human being when you see what you're going to see tomorrow. Saying that is absolutely wild. The next day, he was seen with Ice Spice. Madeline shared her reaction to all of this. She was close to calling the police because she felt threatened. He hasn't had any direct contact with me since that phone call. I thought our conversation would be about our love and relationship. But tell me why, just 10 hours later, he's out with Patty. Imagine breaking up with your boyfriend one night, and the next day, he's with Ice Spice wearing chrome hearts. I didn't even get a chance to officially break up with him before he moved on to the next girl. He didn't even give me 12 hours before being seen with her in chrome hearts. The flight from America took 12 hours. She was already aboard the plane. Later, she mentioned a comment he left on Ice Spice's Instagram, along with him trying to reach out to her through direct messages saying I still love you. She suggested using the same caption for her next post as I Spices. Also, she got a funny birthday present that would be great to share on social media. She mentioned she nearly shared this on her story but decided against it. This all happened during the week of Madeline's birthday, so she's feeling sad. She saw her boyfriend with I Spice and is trying to understand this whole publicity stunt. It's also her birthday. Despite this, he's been trying to contact her, and his team has been reaching out too. 
she's refusing to respond because it makes her look bad. He's been emailing me, calling me, even contacting my mom and trying to follow my friends on Instagram. You get the idea? It wasn't much of a surprise when his team called me. A girl on the phone said first, she's supportive of other girls. Then she asked me to cough twice if I was being held hostage. If not, she wanted me to hang up. They were trying to persuade me to talk to him, saying he wasn't fully responsible. But I tried to make them understand, it doesn't matter if he had control or not. Why was I informed only 12 hours before it happened? It's driving me crazy because all I see are comments accusing me of condoning this. It's so embarrassing for me. Why would I allow my partner to behave like this? But guys, I didn't. I never agreed to this. No one told me. I didn't know about this the way you all thought I did. Yesterday, I Spice faced criticism following this, with people defending Madeline in the comments of her recent Instagram post. Some people were discussing how I seems distant from other women. It sparked a big conversation. Central C shared a TikTok with a caption referencing this. Madeline tried to lighten the mood by posting a photo on Instagram with a caption that echoed Central C's comment on I Spice's photo. There was a bit of confusion when Madeline posted morning photos with someone else, not Central C, which briefly startled the commenters. Everyone in the comments was shocked when Madeline appeared. Some even mistook her for someone else and were ready to fly to London. People are really interested in this whole situation. Some think it might be part of a big marketing plan, while others just feel sorry for Madeline. What do you think about all of this? Have you been following along? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.